welcome back to Smackin' vs. Raw 2006 GM Mode. I am your host, Attack Slug, and today a perhaps difficult decision to make here with our roster on that blue brand with the injury bug striking again, so two days in a row. First Andre, then Mankind. And obviously, we can't trade away Andre, he's the world champion. However... The heart and soul of this blue brand the past, I don't know how many weeks here, has been Mankind, Mick Foley, Cactus Jack, Dude Love. But a four-week minor injury, and that might affect this John Cena rivalry, heading in towards the grandest stage of them all, might mean that I can propose a trade here. I don't want to, but things have happened, and this is what's going to be best for business, if you will. And that is a trade between Mankind at 97 and a return to SmackDown of 197 Stone Cold Steve Austin. Will Raw accept this trade? I don't think that Steve is one of their champions right now. I don't think. I don't know for sure, but we're trying it. So trade. Let's go. In my emails, trade declined. So that didn't work. They said, nah, 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 that ain't gonna happen. So, otherwise, uh, we do have some contractual business here, and that is Carlito and uh, Shelton, I believe, both want some cheap deals, and hey, we made like a mill yesterday on that show alone, so we got the cash in the bank, that's fine, Carlito, 154, that's cool. And uh, Shelton is gonna be 115. That's cool, I guess. All right. Otherwise, Christian, Mankind, Ray, and Taker in another two weeks, which is like next time on the show. But, uh, yeah. So I'm still kind of on this, like, Mankind. I love the guy. I, I do. But at the same time, the fatigue plus the four-week minor injury going into Mania and time's running out, uh, a bit of a problem to book properly. So, otherwise, my other options here uh, in that rank are the Bulldog, and then Batista and Kurt Angle, and then Jake's down there. And I guess we could do Cena and Batista heading into the grandest stage of them all, but man, I feel like I already did Cena and Batista for a bit here. And it was fine, like they had a backstage brawl and a whole thing there, but I would love Bret Hart. Bret Hart's not happening, he's 98, and we are 97. And I thought, man, in terms of giant money feuds, Austin and Cena would be a giant money feud, but it does not seem to be, so let's try for Batista at 94 and see what they say on Monday Night Raw. Emails accepted. Welcome back, Batista. Welcome back, Animal, to that blue brand. Which means we're going to have John Cena and Batista started up once again, heading into WrestleMania is the plan. So that being said, otherwise, we have our morale here, right? Jericho wants a title opportunity. Christian wants to work. Eddie wants also a title opportunity. And Randy wants to win. Which to me sounds like a tag team match playa holla holla so that might be a possibility for eddie's tag team partner in chris jericho and then they challenge for those tag team titles and then lose because randy has to win so that to me sounds like a plan for the show today but also fatigue level we still should not be working andre the giant and i thought yesterday that hey if they're ringside they'll be safe from injury and no i was proven wrong in that deal. So maybe a guest referee position would be a better option? Look, we got two weeks on a minor injury. I don't know. We cannot afford a major injury to our world champion heading into WrestleMania. It's just not an option. So, February, Kentucky. Okay, SmackDown. What's it going to be? The main event, special guest referee, singles, matchup. It will be the dead man, the Undertaker, versus the Big Show, who still does not have a rivalry at this point. It's a problem, considering he's 91. 
But hey, uh, Rey Mysterio, no, no, no. It's going to be Andre the freaking Giant, which continues Taker and Andre in that rivalry. But I do want to say, hey, pun promo number two is going to have to be starting a rivalry. And we know that one half of that is going to be The Big Show. But Big Show is 91. We have HBK and JBL, but who else is even anywhere close to that? Like, I don't have somebody, and that's a problem. So I guess Edge is going to have to do here. So poor Edge went from Kane to the Big Show. All these very big, meaty men getting slapped around here. So we'll have Big Show and Edge fight tomorrow, because obviously Big Show's fighting Taker today. The return of the regular standard singles match. Welcome back, Batista. So John Cena and Batista getting it on on this deal. 94 and 94. I'll take it. So, match number four. Match number four is for those tag team titles. So regular standard tag team match. Randy and his partner, Booker T, will go up against Eddie and his partner, Chris Jericho. That satisfied a lot of our business here with this deal. So both Eddie and Jericho wanted a title opportunity and Randy wants to win. So, you know, we'll see. I might leave it up to the computer on that deal. Main event and a hardcore match, regular, standard, singles, between HBK and a JVL. So, 91, and JBL is still, even with the win, is still 78. Like, what happened? What happened with that? I don't understand, but it's 19 grand for that match, which is crazy. So, promo number one, I would say let us get in our uh, merchandise to gain back some cash a little bit. Before the further contract renewals happen tomorrow, we obviously can't book the big show just yet, but what we can do is do our cruiserweight deal, which yesterday was what? A standard singles matchup. So today will be a submission matchup. So, yep, there you go. So it's going to be RVD, who also wants a win, and Rey Mysterio. So perhaps we'll give RVD that win he so desperately desires to keep him satisfied, but no. It's submission, so we're not we're we're gonna hope for the best. And your opening contest that no one's gonna care about will be a fatal four-way, I think, if we have enough guys to do that. So we got Christian and we got Edge and we've got Carlito and we have anybody else? Uh Bueller. Alright, Shelton Benjamin. So yes, opening contest, fatal four-way, cause just get guys on the card, have them work. And we know Christian wants to work, so hey. In the match with Edge, because why? Why not? So, this SmackDown looks like Fatal 4-Way, Christian, Carlito, Edge, Shelton, RVD versus Ray, Submission, Merchandise, Hardcore, JBL, Shawn Michaels, Guerrero, and Jericho challenging versus Booker and Randy, Big Show versus Edge promo to begin that rivalry, Batista, Cena, back at it once again, and main event, Taker versus Big Show, guest referee, Big Show's father, but not really, Andre the freaking Giant. So, locking it in and hoping for the best. Expecting the worst, but we'll see. Christian, Carlito, Edge, Shelton, what is the winner? It is Shelton Benjamin against all odds. Ray versus RVD submission matchup. We're going to hope for a uh, RVD victory here. And yes, it happened, it worked, thank God. So I don't, I don't have to influence that one at least. Shawn Michaels, JBL, hardcore JBL again. Twice in a row beating Shawn Michaels. And hopefully his pop will go up at least a little bit to 80, please. Thank you. All right, Eddie and Chris. They both want a title opportunity. Your reigning defending tag team champions of Booker T and Randy Orton, can they continue to reign and defend? No! Winners! So that is two out of three, because Randy still wants a win. So his losing streak continues for the Viper. Now, the return of Batista. He walks alone through this pit of danger, and he making it 
making his glorious SmackDown debut, uh, it is Batista. And we are happy to have him back here on the blue brand. I, it is unfortunate that Mankind is not here anymore, but again, now Raw has an injured Mankind for the next four weeks with a lot of fatigue on his plate, and we'll see how Raw deals with that. But Batista, look at him. The animal is here to crush SmackDown and to crush his bitter rival, John Cena. Duct tape? Really, John? Duct tape? Okay, so, Batista into the ring. John Cena, a do 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 And maybe, just maybe, this won't be a 20-minute barn burner on a random episode of SmackDown like Eddie and Randy had last week. It was a lot. It was a lot. Let's see what we can do here as John Cena has not forgotten everything Batista put him through on SmackDown before leaving for Monday Night Raw. These men have not forgotten this feud, this rivalry, this bitter, bitter business continues on the blue brand. Welcome back, Batista. Good to have you here, Big Dave. Man, I would have liked to have brought in, like, Stone Cold or, like, a Bret Hart, but it just wasn't meant to be. And what is happening here? Why, why are they just standing there? Oh! I had changed the difficulty for that Rumble to try to win the Rumble, and it didn't happen anyway. So, you know, these things are what they are, and we'll see what it means here for the AI fighting the AI with the camera cuts and such. But just give me a good thumbnail, boys, and I'll be happy and to move on with my week. It's only Tuesday, holiday week. I'll be here. Gonna be a long one. The bear hug. The bear hug. The rag doll. On John Cena. Tap any button repeatedly. John Cena. Never give up or surrender. And Batista so far impressive in his SmackDown return. As anybody returning to a brand should be having a impressive outing as your first matchup. Now, will he win? I'm not going to guarantee that because after all, it's John Cena. So you can never guarantee that with Mr. Hustle, loyalty, and respect. But the leapfrog, the duck down Batista, just measuring the man slowly, poignantly, spine on the pine from Batista. And hey, maybe... With the AI set on easy, there'd be less submissions, but no. It's just, they're gonna do what they're gonna do. So, yeah, I know. On the other hand, boys, I don't have time for this. Like, I really don't have time for this. So, I'm sorry. It's gonna have to be in the simulation on who wins that matchup. I'd hope for Batista, but we're gonna find out right here, right now. Simulates, and Batista wins his re-debut on SmackDown. Meanwhile, all I'm asking... It's for Andre to not aggravate your injury. Please, big man. Please. Big Show wins the match. I'm assuming Raw wins the ratings. And yes, they did. 150k. Boy, I need to get these things like my ducks need to be in a row here because I'm getting murdered. And Raw did four and a half stars. Four and a half stars. So three and a half from SmackDown. A whole star over me is just... Not great. The roster. The roster, the roster, the roster. One more week here for Andre, and then back in action, uh, full force. I, I think with this level of fatigue, I can do Andre and Taker one-on-one -on -one tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I can, and it'll be fine. Carlito, what do you want to win? Yeah, we'll see. Edge, what do you want to win? Randy Orton, what do you want to win still? And HBK wants a title opportunity. Sean, that's going to be tricky because you're at 90, therefore you're going to want that world title being held by Andre. It's an issue, all right? But fatigue, we're doing fantastic. No problems there. We got 3.3 mil in that bank. Current champions, Andre, Eddie, and Chris, Big Show, and Ray. Rivalries, one, two, three, four, five. Six. These are the six that ideally, outside of the cruiserweights, should run until WrestleMania. So, we'll see. Bumps in the road, but that's the plan. That is the plan. So, over on uh, Raw, what happened? What happened that was so bad to cost us 150k in our fans? 
three stars, two stars, three stars, three and a half, four and a half, five. Iron Man, Triple H, The Rock. Uh, and I don't see, I don't see Mankind being worked on this show, which is like great for me, but also they beat, they still beat me by a full star. And SmackDown was two and a half, three, four, three and a half, four, and four. So now it's, hey, we have our six, run the gimmicks, and hope for the best, and build back what needs to get built back. But we know there's only one pay-per-view between now and Mania. And it's SmackDown's pay-per-view. So that bump is going to be at least a half million, and then run towards the grandest stage of them all, and then hopefully maintain that lead. We run... We won the Rumble, therefore I get that main event spot at WrestleMania. So, in the meanwhile, I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. I'll see you next time. And I'm out!